Hey, welcome back to another episode of Algebra. We're still uh, solving an equation with one variable. This time we're going to solve something that has square on it. So uh, that means we're probably going to have two solutions. You can either have, with those equations, you can have two solutions, one solution, or no solutions at all. So let's see what we have in this case. So 2x squared plus 1 minus 3. So the way we want to do this is everything, we're going to leave the variable on one side of the equality and everything else is going to be on the other side of the equality. There's two ways to do this. You can say, hey, I'm moving the 1 from this side to this side, which makes it a negative 1. Or you can say, as we commonly say, let's add negative 1 to both sides. So minus 2x squared that negative 1 plus 1 is gone. So you have negative 3 minus 1, which is negative 4. So you can multiply both sides of this equality by negative 1. So when you multiply this guy by negative 1, you multiply this guy by negative 1, negative one the negative signs cancel. So think about if you had a negative 1 here and a negative times a negative 1 here. These two cancel. That one would be 4. Negative times a negative is a positive. Negative times a negative here is not, again is a positive. Remember, it is a negative here in front of this, not related to the square because the square taking care of the stuff uh, that are inside of the parentheses. Negative here outside is by itself, as you can see. It's not part of the square. It's not part. It's not underneath the square. So, a negative one times negative one here is a positive. So we're left with two x squared. So now. What we're going to do here is take the square root of both sides. So that means 2x is equal to, so the square root of 2x squared, let me, let me write it this way, is equal to the square root of 4. So whenever you have, you're taking the square root, you have two possible solutions. So square root of a number of something squared is that thing, 2x, but you're going to have two possible solutions plus or minus the square root of 4. So square root of 4 can be, it's either going to be 2, or negative 2. So plus or minus square root of 4, that gives you 2 of a negative 2. So you have two possible solutions. So 2x is equal to 2. That implies that x is equal to 1. So what you do is divide this guy by 2, divide this guy by 2, apply that x is equal to 1. And 2x is equal to negative 2. That implies that x is equal to negative 1. So the solutions are x is equal to 1 and x is a good negative one. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with someone that you know this might help. This is your host, Romel, with the Jack Studer. Thanks for your time. Bye.